After selecting your teaching schedule, the next step of the plan board setup process is to create and schedule your classes. Begin by clicking the Add a Class button in the top left corner, and it will display your options for the kind of blocks you can create. A subject or class would be for anything you would want to create lesson content for. This could be a subject area class, such as math, English, or visual arts, but you can also use this for anything else you would want to plan for, such as after-school clubs or meetings. The other option is to create a non-teaching block, which is for anything you would want to schedule in your planner, but that you would not need any lesson content for. Examples of non-teaching blocks would be recess, lunch, or prep periods. The steps for creating either of these options are the same. Simply click on the option you want to create, enter a name, and you can select the color from the picker icon here. Click Create, and the class will be added to the list on the left. Repeat these steps until you have created your necessary classes. If you already have subjects created in Google Classroom or Schoology, you can import them into PlanBoard to save time in creating your classes. Sign in into your respective Classroom or Schoology account, and follow the prompts to import the classes you have in those platforms. Once you have created the classes you need for your planner, you can move on to the final step in the setup process.